Hi, this is Jay Sims Plays and today I'm going to show you around the Teen Mansion. You get it after you complete the Teen Idol quest. Even though you think maybe just teenagers can go and live there, actually anybody of any age can really go and live there. So at the front there's just a big open space with a fountain and a car that you get with the house, that's fine. Then you just have the hallway. Then there's sort of a computer sort of study room with, well, one computer really, uh, with two screens, but obviously only one sim can actually use it. And then with the books and chairs and lights and stuff. This, this is the sitting room, it's quite spacious. Um, quite a few sims can fit on here. Let's see how many I can get on. And uh, we'll, we'll come back to that in a minute. And then here's a little hallway with uh, graduation gowns and certificates um, and medals and a trophy. But you know, you can't actually really interact with them. Well, you can admire them and that's about it. Okay, we've got four on here. Maybe you can get another one on. Okay, so the maximum you could probably get on is one, two, three, four. Well, I think anyway. <laughs> And then you have the dining hall with uh, no, eight chairs, so it's quite spacious. Then a big kitchen with uh, two stoves and a coffee maker and a fridge and another fridge. So again, this is a good house to bring lots of sims, say t maximum of ten sims and you can uh, then go and you know, get all their needs done really quickly. Then there's somewhere else to sit. And this is the only house that I have that's actually multi-story. So you just click on the side here where it says number one on the um, right side. And then you go up. So you've got one of the bathrooms with two baths and a shower and a toilet and two sinks. Again, it's sort of double of anything. And then here's a, a, one of the bedrooms with the telly and a wardrobe and here's a bedroom sort of teenage boy like again with the messy clothes which you can't really interact with and there's no point for and the uh, surfboard as well which again is just for decoration then you're on the other side of this, you've actually got this other bathroom we're just now one bath and one shower and since they don't seem to care, I mean, you can have like three sims, like two sims having a shower and one sim going to the toilet. It doesn't really matter. And here's more of a, a girly bedroom, a girly, girly teenage bedroom. Okay, and then again, just sort of a seating area. And this is the top level. And this is all we can have some games and again the pizza boxes which are of no use. An extra fridge, some bean bags, lots of seating. And a TV area. So again sort of like a second sitting room. Another bedroom. Sort of a really small bedroom. Another bathroom. And actually, it's got like a kitchen uh, up the top as well. So you don't need to go all the way to the bottom. You can come up here to the top. And we've got the kitchen and, and then we've got the fridge and the oven. And then here is specifically for the Teen Idols. It's got like the microphone. It's got um, drums, keyboard, all your things that a symbol could want. And then here 
here again this is an amplifier and again two two types of guitars but then and then there's yeah, a computer desk and more guitars and drums and keyboards but the thing is even if you get all your sims playing instruments you can only actually have one t9 at any one time and uh, as I said in before in previous videos, I'm not really sure what the teen idol really does or benefits for them anyway. Okay, so now we're going to go outside. And here is a really nice spacious pool. With some seating area, some barbecue. Then you can get all your sims to come outside for the day and relax on the floating or slide on the slide. The only problem I find with this house is that when one sim is walking up the stairs, the other sim can't like walk down the stairs. They have to wait until the sim gets all the way to the top before now they can back like for example, she's now just come up the stairs, so now he can actually walk down the stairs. Well, if nobody else is coming up. So hopefully try and send him downstairs as well. They can play a volleyball game. Up to four people can play this game. So let's just wait for other people to come. Here's a bar and then they can uh, buy cocktails. They can tend the bar. Well, <laughs> if they can ever get down the stairs. So your sim can just play volleyball. And then your sim can come here and order a cocktail for 2,500 simoleons. And it then replenishes all their um, need bars, I think. See, he, she's ordering, she's drinking a cocktail now. And uh, also, yeah, you can listen to music. So there's quite a few things for your sims to do in this house, which is quite good. They can splash and swim. So there we see we've got four of them playing the game now. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what video you'd like to see next week. And I'll see you on Wednesday with my usual Let's Play.